Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about, well hopefully a small introduction to the x-bar theory and as to why the flat structure doesn't work anymore. So, so, um, here we have an example. The big book of poems with the blue cover. So, it, we can see that it's, to it's totally fine, it's a perfectly grammatical sentence. And we have the tree right here. We have the end, the noun phrase and all the daughters. Of course, um, to begin, well, we can see that this is a flat. This is what we call a flat structure. Well, it it, it is obvious. It looks actually flat. So, yeah, uh, they match. They totally match. Um, so we can see that these all daughters have branches that extend from the mother to all the daughters like they're all connected as a unit they look as a whole unit together so we can't say that these two book of poems can function as a unit or as a can uh, or uh, as they are a constituent without the and without the other big you cannot leave these alone they have to be together as we recall, if we recall the exhaustive domination, we said that it actually uh, relates to being a constituent. A constituent, sorry. So uh, we we say that in the definition of constituency lay, uh, lay earlier, that uh, a set of terminal nodes are exhaustively dominate, dem, dominated by the, by the dominated by the mother. So they form one they form one constituent so we cannot say that the np or the noun for this like mother exhaustively dominates book and of poems the noun and the pp on the other pp within the adjective and without the determiner that is well awfully incorrect we have they, they have to be united together in order to form a constituent so let us recall or let us refresh our memory uh no before refreshing our memory uh let's add that we, if we actually performed or if we actually uh, applied the constituency test we will prove our point exactly what of only specifically the one replacement test which is what we're gonna refresh our memory about so here we have let's say i saw the big monster and jude so one two i'm sorry about the awful handwriting it's hideous so here what we're gonna focus about is one because it is literally called a one replacement test so here if we'll, we'll focus about one so let's say let's see here so what does it go with with so so we must exclude these and here we have jude it's a person and i am a person so i with jude because me and jude saw the monster jude and i am sorry so what what is left is the big monster it is actually i'm sorry it is actually what represent one one represents or one replaces the big monster well let's forget about this mess i mean what is important important is that we can we know that one represents the big monster which makes it a constituent well it's hard to pronounce pronounce so what if we said let's go back to our example the big book of poems with a blue cover let's say that i bought the big book of poems with the blue cover not the small one yeah 
Okay, let me just zoom this thing. Yeah, this is, this is much better. So, the big book of poems with the blue cover, not the small one. Let's see, we care, we said we care about one. So, small goes with big. Goodbye. And the, with the other the. Goodbye. So, what is left is book of poems with the blue cover. They actually, one replaces them, these form one constituent. But what did we say earlier? So we said that we cannot have these. We cannot say that these form one constituents without, w without, we, without taking this with, taking these two with them. Cannot leave these poor adjectives, raise and the determiner alone. So why does it actually make sense? Why does it, why do, when we say that the book cover with poems with the blue cover, now the small one, it's an actually perfect sentence. We, why did we say that? It, what would you say that we cannot leave them alone? Here is why we have a problem. This is where the dilemma, we have a dilemma, huge dilemma. And we upgrade our level from the flat structure to what we call an X bar level. So this, this little issue we have here, we must name it NX so we can deal with it later. So we named the book of poems with a blue cover with X. We'll go back to you later. So what if we put an X here? Oh, this is a horrible X word. Whatever, if we put an X here that represents these three that represent these three without actually causing a damage to the tree without saying that these without I mean with we want them separated we want these separated so we cannot so we cannot I mean ruin the tree here is why we will draw it like this so here we draw an X we put an X like we said so if we replace this x with 1, we will actually get what we want. We will actually have a perfectly grammatical sentence in every way. So if we said that here you have the sentence, I bought the big book of poems with a blue cover, not the small one. So we said that 1 for the big book of poems, which is here. Uh, I'm sorry, I present the book of poems with a blue cover book of poems with a blue cover. So here we said x represent these three without causing any damage to these two. Because if we actually, uh, they, if we said that these form one constituents, that is correct. And if we said that these correct, these form one constituents, that is also correct. Because, why? Because determiner is the sister of the adjective phrase, right? And the adjective phrase and the terminal are sisters to what? To the X. And what is the X? The X is the N and PP and PP. So it is, it is correct. It is even more correct than uh, before. So that is why the X bar level is more valid than the flat structure. Let's say, let's um, actually perform another test, which is the conjunction test. Here we have a sentence. We have Calvin is the Dean of Humanities and the Director of Social Sciences. So here here are the trees. Here it is here 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 is the end that connects between these two noun phrases. We have the Dean of Humanities and the Director of Social Sciences. Um, we can s we of, of course know that the conjunction connects between two between two um, identical phrases. Like we can say that an uh, connects between an MP and a VP. That is awfully incorrect. So, um, yeah. But let's, let us take a look again at the sentence here. In grammar, we, like he, here we have Calvin is the Dean of Humanities and Director of Social Sciences. We don't have the here because it actually, the, here, the modifies Dean of Humanities and Director of Social Science, so we don't have to repeat it again. But here, 
our, here is why we have another dilemma. Why did why did we put the here? Why well, we don't actually have it in here? So here is why we should upgrade our level again. What if we put an X here? Let's see what I mean. If we now connect between these two, here we don't have V, I'm sorry. Here we don't have V because here we don't have the, so here we don't put the. So it's actually like this. Here we have something wrong here. So we cannot connect between these two because they're not identical. But what if we put an X here and another X here in order to what? To connect between these two X's. Let's redraw the tree. Here we have an MP, we have the D, the determiner, and we have the, d I'm sorry, here we have an X that have the D and the PP. These uh, M connects with it. Here we have an X, alright? And we have another MP, which is the other phrase. Uh, here we have Presumably, uh, determiner, whatever. We have another X that has directory and has the PP. So here we have two X's. This X represents what? Dean of Humanities. And this X represents what? Director of Social Sciences. So we can actually now connect between these two because they're identical. We're connecting between two X's which are the Dean of ha uh, Humanities and the Director of what whatever. So we cannot say that it's incorrect. We cannot say that because we're missing here the, we cannot connect between these two. Actually, we upgraded our level to the X4 level, which allow allows us to connect between two Xs without causing any grammatical error. So I hope you understand this. B but before we end this video, we're gonna name this something else. We cannot keep this X, like, because this X means dilemma, and it is not a dilemma anymore. So we shall name it, because we have here an end phrase. The end phrase uh, means that we have a noun as the head. So, well, fair enough. We will name our X here an N, but without causing any confusion, we shall name it an M bar to indicate uh, that we're in a bar level. We're in a bar level. So without the X here, if we're going to draw the tree, we will put an N bar instead of the X. So this is how the video ends, and I really hope you understand this well, lovely, hopefully lovely introduction of the X bar level and why we actually up um, upgraded our level to the X bar level. Thank you for listening.